Hello again, it's me. It's a lathe run today, but let's see how well we did yesterday. Where did we come? Mine. Mine. 258th. That's a lot better than the day before. 944th. Still, I'm okay with that. It's a Lilith run today. What do we do with Lilith? Will we panic? We're going down, it looks like, to the lamb. No, just to Satan. Started with Midas Touch. Midas Touch is fine. And we should go to the curse room straight away. Pro tip, never go to the curse room without a bomb. We got very lucky. Here's Bob's curse, which has five bombs. That was a good curse room. Now, I've turned off the... The colorblind mod. Not, well, I haven't turned it off. Uh, I've I had a look on Reddit for the problem that we were having with the with the chest looking all funky, and the person who made the original mod has posted a fix for it, which is to delete some of the assets because they haven't had time to update the mod. Which is fair, you know, they've done it on their own spare time. I'm quite sure. Uh, and I'm obviously I'm very grateful to them for having put the effort in because being colorblind in a game like The Binding of Isaac, it has its disadvantages. I'm not going to say it's a, a major issue. It's not like it's not like that bubble bubble game where you have to be able to tell the difference between purple, blue, green, and yellow in order to match the bubbles that you're firing around in the first place. But it's still a disadvantage, and uh, this person has made it less of a disadvantage for us, unfortunately. In order to fix the problems, we had to not only delete the chests uh, file, which the only benefit I really got from that was to get the fangs on the gold and the red chests, but I didn't have a trouble with red chests, so I'm okay there. Uh, the other thing that was happening was that golden hearts were not showing up at all. It turns out golden hearts were invisible with the colorblind mod, um, which was a problem. Because I remember seeing, I was watching Northern Lion play one of these dailies that I've done. And he picked up a Golden Heart that I swear never dropped for me, at least at the time. Well, it probably did, but I didn't see it. So I've fixed that. The problem with this is that I'm not going to be able to tell the difference between a Black Heart and a Red Heart. Which was one of the uh, original problems I had. Uh, with the colours in the Binding of Isaac. So, you'll have to forgive me from now on, at least until that kind person does find the time to uh, fix the new assets for colorblind mode. Um, I'm probably going to make mistakes like not picking up a black heart thinking it's a red heart, or bumping into red hearts wondering if they're black hearts, basically. Uh, probably waste a little bit of time trying to pick up hearts that are not black. It's not going to cause a huge, uh, huge, huge problem for us. You know, it's going to be a, a little bit of wasted time, a couple of wasted points. Uh, I'm going to suggest you don't don't worry too much about it. So, I've been playing sort of on my own, just talking. We are Lilith. Obviously, Lilith can be a difficult uh, character to play. Our first Lilith run was horrendous. <laughs> In fact, I think one of our... Wow, that was close. One of our very first daily runs was a Lilith run, and we didn't get very far at all. Uh, but we're doing okay here. I don't think we've even been hit yet, except for voluntarily on the curse room, so that's fine. Um, we have kind of been conception by default. We did pick up Midas Touch on the first floor. Midas Touch is going to be great if we can get some sort of reliable invulnerability, because not only do we have Midas Touch, uh, but we also have Bandage Girl. Uh, well, Ball of Bandages at the moment. Uh, we'll take this too. This is uh, turning out to be a very easy run to start with. Lilith is not my favourite character, just because I find it difficult. I expect many people find it difficult for the same reason. Vis-a-vis, -vis, it's bloody awkward, basically. Having your only source of tears trailing behind you slightly, and I've waxed lyrical on the possible benefits to that. But ultimately, the possible benefits are not going to... Where's my poison? Are not going to be as important as the negatives, whereby... Oh, that hurt. Uh, you can't hit for shit. That was good. This is good. This is going to be good. Please leave me alone. The damage up means that when we don't have a second familiar... Why are you a champion of all things? You're going to be here all day. Look. I'll do. Kill it the old-fashioned way. Ah, uh, uh, battery. That's nice. Isn't it? 
So do you think we should look for a secret room? I think so. It's reasonably obvious where it's going to be, and we've got plenty of bombs for once. Yesterday we opened up a seam. If you didn't watch it, tough, I'm going to spoiler it. When we should have finished the game, we managed to do an entire extra floor. Oh, but fine. I don't mind that. Uh, which got us hugely extra points. Well, not hugely. We've got 40 cents and there's a shop and I've just ignored it. Completely bypassed the idea. Uh, please, please don't shout at me. <laughs> we'll take this. Two of spades, that's fine. We'll take this key. If we pick up more keys before we need to use this key, then we'll get a good benefit out of two of spades. If we don't, we don't. Blah, blah, blah. No one knows what the wooden nickel does. No one cares. We'll head down to the third floor without having taken too much damage except against Pin and I'm going to blame that on the fact that Pin was in a tiny little room where there wasn't even room to swing a cap, let alone a Pin. Uh, we probably will think about that later. If we can get good use out of our two of spades card, this is another case, if I want to try and get better use out of our two of spades card because two of spades is an awkward one. If you use two of spades with no keys, you get two keys. If you use it with one key, you get two keys, as in you got up to two keys. So using it with no keys is more valuable than using it with one key, because one key gives you one key and zero keys gives you two. I'll use my uh, my familiars here because there's, whoa, that's, there's plenty more floor to explore uh, before we have to fight this boss. Come on, there we go. Yeah, there's another key already. So one more key and we've actually got value out of two of spades is what I'm saying. At which point, we're going to have to come back this way anyway, it being the direction to the boss. So we'll go and find our shop and hope to get a key on the way. Uh, help. Paula bandage saved us there. I'm fine with that. Yeah, the uh, Midas Touch plus Baller bandages is a strong start to a synergy if you can get the... Ha <laughs> um, The necessary invincibility make good use of it, which we're going to try to do uh, in as much as we are capable of doing that. Do I want Kane's eye or do I want the cartridge? Really, it's much of a muchness, which is a phrase. It's a legit thing, it's not just me talking. Another golden chest, though. Mm, that's probably the secret room to our left now. Uh, I mean, now I think about it, I suppose I was, I was, since I was just talking about invincibility, taking something like Ooh, that's a lot of money. Uh, the the cartridge, even though it's not a very likely chance to proc, it is still a greater chance to give us uh, the, the invincibility that I was asking for than not having it, I suppose. And we're not going to get too great a benefit out of um, Kane's eye. So I think I'll just come back down here and take this. We're reasonably quick, but not necessarily quick enough, so I'd like to go a little bit faster if we can. I'd like to just find another key, if you don't mind. Please, game. Let's see if we can use our baller bandages to speed ourselves up a little bit here. Like that. Like that. This is not going to work. Good. And then we'll just get rid of this chap. Plus. Good. When... Mm, I'll just use it. I've got tired waiting. This is probably going to make up for the fact I used it in a less than optimal manner. We don't need anything here. We might as well buy this, Why? right? Why not? Makes up for the fact we, again, used our two of spades in an under-optimal manner. I'm not bothered. We should use the bombs that we've got. It's not a bloody bombable spot. Although this seems like a secret room location to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, bomb. <laughs> bomb it. Get rid of it. Take it away. There's our two keys. Now we're on six, um, six keys. All for some canny secret room spotting know how. Alright, let's go and open these boxes. I'm probably not going to fight the pesky uh, mob trap room. It's just going to slow us down. I don't want to go too slowly. We do want to do both boss rush and hush rush. This is fine. Yeah, scapula. Just in case. Hush can really do a number on us. If we're not careful. Especially as Lilith. Uh, which I am. Just yesterday we were saying you know the items that we had would be great for a Lilith run, but we weren't Lilith, and now we are Lilith, so maybe some of the items that are not so great for the, for the whoever we're playing Samson run will turn up today and make their usefulness known. Dodge. Good. Shoot. Die. Excellent. Box. 
hitbox gives us Troll Bomb. Does not give us Troll Bomb, that's fine. Pill, I'm not going to take just yet. Temperance card. Well, we might as well hold on to it. Uh, yes, please. I will take... Oh, you shot me, did you? Uh, quit. Whilst you're taking damage. Good. Coin? Coin. Go ahead, will give us... Um, ah, speed up. Nice. It's actually something I really needed. Will give us guaranteed deals with the devil, so we want to try and pay attention to our HP. We've only got two left. Uh, in case you haven't noticed. Two is not the magic number, it's not a great number. I'm talking about red HP, spirit hearts don't count. Once we've spent those two, we'll be spending spirit hearts. We don't want to spend... Uh, that was very risky, I didn't even mean to. We don't want to really be spending spirit hearts on devil deals, but if we have to, we have to, I suppose. Strength card would be good in that respect. Um, strength card will allow us to cheese it by giving us a red HP when normally we wouldn't have one. But we don't have one. That room took longer than I like. There is an arcade. We should probably have a look at it. Where are we? Caves 2, coming up to 10 minutes. Coins. Baddies. I'll just ignore these. Bye. We do need to be a bit faster for boss rush. Because we're not strong, boss rush will take some time. Unfortunately, when you are strong, you get to boss rush faster than when you are not strong, and therefore you do boss rush faster, so it kind of it snowballs in that respect. Ah, uh, <laughs> um, um, um. uh, let's hit it. What do we get? Oh my god, what have we got? The Bible. We might as well take it. We don't have that thing anymore. Chariot. Oh, let's use Temperance here. We didn't get any more HP, which is a shame. Luck upgrade is nice, though. We'll use a bomb. Chariot card could have got us way more cash out of that, but what do I need more cash for, right? Ah, but we do have the Bible. The Bible not only grants us flight every so often, once every six rooms, but if we can have a charge when we get to the mom fight, we've been in there. Of course we've been in there. If we can have a charge when we get to the mom fight, uh, that's not worth it. Um, The Bible will just kill mom with one hit. Actually, this is really strong. Obviously, we keep our... Um, we keep our Incubus friend. That was close. But we don't get to keep box of friends, so we don't get to double it. So our boss rush is not going to have the standard limit. Oh my god, how out of control is this? But we re-rolled the run because re-rolling runs is funny. And I would do it again if I had the chance. <laughs> Probably, although this one's... Oh, it's over here. Slightly stronger. We've got so much money now, though. We should definitely hit the shot. Hmm. Hmm. I don't... I do like that item, the, uh, I'll take the baby. I like the shortcut item, but I don't think I want it in this situation. And do I want this? Uh, no, we've got so much money. Our problem here is going to be if this re-rolls, uh, this blows itself up. Three dollar bill, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be slightly dangerous every so often, you know, when we get Ipecac or something. But for the rest of the time, in fire mind. Especially when we're having slightly more trouble than we would normally like to have. Actually putting our tears where they need to be, but... We're doing so much damage now, we've sped up so much. I can't be salty about this at all. We've done everything we care to do. Let's just fight Megamore, apparently. Oh, now we've got Proptosis for this room, that's good. And this is over already, so we've... Yep, that's nice. Seraphim. What have I done to deserve this? Oh, I guess I have brimstone from my... Yeah, it's basically I've got a little brimstone. That's a, a very powerful little brimstone, because of course it's got our normal tiers rather than our... Uh, rather than the little brimstone tiers. So it's going to synergize with what we have, basically. So if we can get... Uh, well, I was going to say if we can get um, pretty fly. Some... some Seeking shots and hoping tears, but I think we've already got those. So this is going to be a tremendously good fun run, and I'm pleased to have embarked upon it because I was I'm in an RN a little bit earlier, I was a bit tired, you know. I have been at work today. I do. I am a productive member of society. Not to cast shame and doubt upon people who don't have uh, an employed employment. They don't necessarily have to work if you 
feel that you are not in a position where you want to, I don't want this, want to work or you can't find the work and as long as you're not a burden on somebody, I don't care what you do. Oh, of course that makes me feel, <laughs> now it's like I've cast aspersions against people who are genuinely burdens on people but they can't help it. I don't mean that either. If you blow these up apparently you can have them. Is it worth it? No. <laughs> yes you can. Uh, but if you are a burden and could be not a burden, then it would probably be appreciated if you stopped being a burden, is what I'm saying. Uh, but if people don't mind carrying that burden, then I suppose you are well within your rights to be that. Oh, brilliant. Uh, you can get guppy as well, that'd be pretty sweet. Infested, sure. Question marks, lemon party. Chariot could get us out of here, but I'm not entirely bothered, since we, especially since we got a spirit heart for it. The chariot could probably be used somewhere better. We don't actually have things that I had before where I was going on about how cool it would be to have invincibility, so what am I talking about? Who cares? Let's just pretend I didn't infest, infest, offend everybody in, in the whole world. Just take everything. Who cares? It's cool. Uh, no. The mom fight is going to be zero, zero time. We just press the spacebar. We're not using the spacebar item anymore because we can in fact fly thanks to a transformation I didn't even know existed called Seraphim. We've been everywhere, we've done everything, we're going. And now I feel like we're strong enough to not have to worry about whether we can do boss rush in time because I feel like we can get to boss rush Ooh. Uh, in such good time. I think we'll take Magic Mushroom here even though... Uh, even though it knocks the spirit heart off because of the XP that it gives, it's going to give us more damage, it's going to give us more speed, it's going to give us more awesome. And it's going to stop us getting into that. Look, Envy. <laughs> this is not your day. I don't know what game breaking bug does, by the way. It just bounces around as fuck all as far as I can tell. I expect there's something that it does that is, you know, super awesome, but... Uh, I've got it. I don't know what to do with it. I'm just going to keep it. I do like three dollar bills, uh new in your effects previously it changed effect every room and now i think it changes effect every few seconds bombs, bombs. bombs are key speed up okie dokie we'll do this because we've got so much time the coins will give us points back for taking the damage which is not dumb damage because we can go in here we can just take this i guess <laughs> and fight mega more again okay whatever our brimstone is not hugely, excitingly powerful, but it's homing. And homing brimstone is massively entertaining, at least to me, which is why I'm playing the game. If it's entertaining to you, then I appreciate that as well. Uh, but it's not underpowered, being as it is brimstone, so... I guess you take the rough with the smooth, don't you? You couldn't have just taken the straight path. They were all perfectly lined up and you decided to go for a little twisty run. I don't I don't begrudge you this, I just find it less efficient. Wondering why you're taking the odd path when we could take the easy path instead. Uh what have you got for me? If you're wondering, you can get uh two plays out of these with one hit uh with one HP. Or one HP. Uh, oh god, extra vision. Uh, 1 HP cost, I suppose. Co uh, the cost of 1 HP. Which is why I'm doing what I'm doing. There's another half an HP. If you time it right, you can get in another hit just before you lose the invincibility from the first one. Lemon Party and Tears Down. Uh, we'll take the chariot. 17 minutes. Let's go explore a little bit more. This will give us just that little edge. We don't need to worry about how long it's going to take us to beat the mom fight as previously mentioned. Also, we haven't been to the item room, which I knew, intellectually. Uh, this is bollocks. Of course, we had Isaac's heart right now. Do we want... No. No. I'm going to wish I'd taken Headless Baby. Oh, we'll take this. Yeah, that's really good. Sack Dag is probably one of my favourite orbitals. I'm not really playing the orbital games today. Um, we do have the Chariot, which would probably give us some strong benefit Oh, we could use the chariot on them. Yeah, sacrifice that key to the key gods just to make sure that we do well. 
in the boss rush. Item? Item. But the chariot could be useful against one of the waves in boss rush to allow us to use sack dags to do some good damage to something that's particularly annoying. Uh, blue candle, no. Don't really need anything, so that's that's encouraging. Not having to spend the money and therefore points. If you're playing this game and you're getting stressed out about the fact that those leaping things keep leaping on top of you, I have no advice. Boom, that's done. Uh, I I can't say anything for that. So we're going well, we're going down, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, guppy? We guppy now? No. I'm going to keep this. Don't need the Bible anymore. The Bible would get us into... It would also beat Mom's heart, is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, D6. I don't know what that does, but I don't think I like it. You know, I'm going to take the D6 and put this back. Then, when it finishes, I'm going to re-roll what we get at the end of it. There aren't really any more items in the rest of the game, although there's one or two. We're not going to the chest unless we can find the same uh, same shortcut that we did last time. And now I think about it, I'm not sure whether Awas can actually give you a path out of the uh, cathedral. I think it can only give you a path out of Sheol, because Sheol is down to the dark room. Oh no, we got from uh, we got into Sheol from the womb yesterday. There's the spoilers, by the way. If you didn't watch it, tough. I think I spoiled it at the start, to be honest. But, you know. It's good to spoiler it twice. Make sure everyone's got all the information, right? That was a really fast girdy fight, so we're doing really well, and I should probably be using my guppy set every single wave, but I'm not, because I forgot about it. So, I don't think there is even a way of Oh, you know what? If we take the D6 to re-roll what we get at the end of this, we will also re-roll Guppy's head and be stuck with the D6. Unless the D6 rolls everything into even better things. Which is possible. There's no denying that it could happen. What have we got here? Okay, it's just Pete. Okay. This bloke we have to worry about, not Pete. So, do we want to re-roll Guppy's head? Bearing in mind that we don't lose the credit for having had it. Christ, <laughs> we're doing so well. We're one-shotting the entire wave. Because uh, Mum's wig is really good. And now I think about it, if I take the D6... These will probably go away. Does the D6 go away? No. So do we want to re-roll Guppy's head and stick with the D6? I'm so temp- I'll do it. Maybe we can get something sweet. We've got Dad's key. That's no good. Look. I did it. We tried, okay? We're still pretty fast. We're only just past the 21 minute mark. Which is where we still expect to be in boss rush at this point. So we can probably take our time. Think a lot. Think of everything you've got. You will still be here tomorrow even though your dreams may not. So what can we re-roll? Well this? No, <laughs> we could, but I'm not going to. I was kind of hoping for Bob's brain or something else that I hate, but it wasn't. We just one-shot Fistula. It's fine. We're done now. Okay. Obviously, we have the re-roll for whatever the boss drops. That's fine. We also have the re-roll for anything that's in the Hush lobby. So there is that. Actually, now I think about it, that's probably a great time to have a reroll because often... Oh, this is probably even better. I note, by the way, that we haven't had a single proc. Can we get through here? Yes. From our cartridge. After all that I'm in an in about whether we should... Oh, hello. <laughs> curse the maze, you say. I I laugh at your curse of the maze. I shit on your curse of the maze. After all that umming and ahhing about whether we should take the cartridge for its invincibility based on the fact that we have orbitals and Midas touch and then we re-roll so we didn't have the orbitals and Midas touch but we still had the cartridge but then we didn't even get a proc on the cartridge so there was no point in having the cartridge because even though we've replaced all our orbitals with sack dag Ooh. I hope <laughs> I expect everybody else has found this and it's done exactly what I'm about to do with it right okay here's what we do <coughs> this is going to cost us some 
HP, but there's plenty of HP on the ground. We'll use the Chaos card, the, the Chariot, to play this until it gives us something, or until it runs out. Um, okay. We'll use it. We get Tears Down, it's not what I want. We'll reroll this. We get Pact, which is what I want. Which makes us a Leviathan, which is a second transformation, even though we've had one transformation already today. We will go back here, we'll pick up the Spirit Heart, we'll carry on on our way. So despite the fact that I didn't manage to use my amazing, you know, cr theory crafted, let's, t oh, why? Why so thin? <laughs> why so little damage all of a sudden? Our theory, cr oh, we don't want to forget our chaos card. Our theory crafted, let's take the thing that gives us invincibility so that we can occasionally run into all the enemies in the room. Nonsense. Uh, we just re-rolled everything. Didn't get the opportunity, never got a proc, and now we're... Oh. Fine. <laughs> so fast. I'm almost tempted to do the rest of this floor just for the extra points. I'll point out this is a Lilith run, and I haven't even taken half the damage that I would have taken. Uh, the last time it, oh, he says, taking the stupidest damage ever. You really have to remind me when we got Curse of the Maze, okay? The Emperor is decent, but we really want to take our Chaos card with us to the Hush Fight. And also, we don't want to fuck up said Hush Fight. No, we don't want to fuck up the Chaos card by accidentally pressing the space bar. We should go over here, apparently. Fine. <laughs> There's a few extra points, and it's probably going to be more points than it'll cost us to get back. Uh, provided Curse of the Maze allows us to go home. To go on. We would like to leave this game eventually. It'd be nice to take the Emperor card to skip the next floor, but then again, I was just saying how important it was to explore every room if possible. And then I was waxing lyrical about skipping off the floor anyway. Really, really, really do not press the space bar. Whatever you do. Uh, the Q key. Whatever you do. That's, that's not good for us. What's this? Evicted. Probably not good for us. Do these coins make up for the bombs? No. Does it matter? No. I think everyone else is going to be as strong as I am uh, by this stage. We didn't really get huge amounts out of our devil deals. Uh, yeah. Could have re-rolled it. Wasn't. Uh, wasn't. In, I don't think it was the best idea to re-roll that. We didn't get strong from our devil deals particularly. Help. <laughs> uh, which is kind of uncommon. You usually expect devil deals to be very good for you. But I don't know how many people would have re-rolled, because this re-roll is extremely strong. Uh, we might as well... We might as well fight the mom's heart now. The mom's heart. We'll fight it lives now. Let's go up here. Pop that. There we go. Die. Thank you. Just so that it's done. So that we know when we come... Uh, hello Krampus. You ended my blue baby run. I hate you for it. Actually, this is pretty good. I hadn't considered. Now I can re-roll... I don't want to. If that was Krampus's head, we could have re-rolled it, done more of the floor, possibly got the re-roll back on our d6. Oh, that was not smart. That was even less smart. Right, remember there's red poops around, and stop walking the hell into them. You dumbass. Uh, Mega Fatty, why are you here? Not for long. Oh, there's our d6 charge, so... We wouldn't even have to do the rest of the floor. When this um, when this gets really thin, I think if it's got a lot of things to hit, it just thins out immensely for some reason. I'm not going to do that. So we've got this Chaos card. What does the Chaos card do? You'll see. I expect everybody to have taken it. Don't know whether everyone will have re-rolled into this amazingly strong run, because the run that we started with was looking like it could get there. Uh, but it, it didn't get there, obviously. First room, sure. Guppy as well would be great. Please blow up. <laughs> Scaring me. Let's go. Let's go. But it was a good reroll. I'm glad I did it. I only did it because it was silly. And I shouldn't have done it, and therefore I did do it. Which is a good reason to do stuff, I think. You know you shouldn't, therefore you do. Can we, um... Probably not there, actually, because of the nature of the... Poop. However, this one... More of this, you say? Well, let's just explode it. 
We do have infinite bombs on this floor, which is nice. We could have checked for the secret room, but I'm just going to go down to the hush fight, which is still open. Great. I mean, we could have spent three minutes looking for that secret room, and you all would have been asking me to just please stop. Uh, don't know. Let's see what the options are first. Oh, jeez. I don't even know what host hat does, although it did save me on a lost run recently. Yeah. Sack head is good. There's one right now. Oh, in that case. Ah, <laughs> uh, three rolls rocks? Three roll rewards. Not what I want. Then we go in here. And we thing. And we roll this. Yeah, Rainbow Baby is okay. It's just more DPS at the end of the day. And this, and we don't want any of these. Boom, and we want those. And we'll open these and get more sacks with more batteries in. Of course, now that we're in the hush room, we can spend as long as we want. Parasite. Is, does Parasite synergize? That's what I want to know at this stage. Let's say it does. Let's find out. I think it has given us double shot permanently. No, it hasn't. Okay. Death, temperance, blow it up. Strength. Hermit would have saved us a key. What do we care about that? Nil. Uh, there's nothing to re-roll. There's that to re-roll. Let's keep re-rolling it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The secret rooms could give us a great benefit in terms of points when it comes to the end of the game. What's this? Strength, Hermit, Chaos. Two of hearts. Whatever. Let's do this. Take that. Hush. What's happening down there? Nothing worth your attention, Brimstone. Seriously? What is happening? Oh, it's probably uh, an effect from the $3 bill. I think that's what happens when you get my reflection on Brimstone. It sort of goes off the rails a little bit. Chaos card does this. Ta-da! It is a free instant one-shot. Anything else to pick up? I don't think so. Do we get another deal with the devil? I don't think we do. So maybe we want to take death. Let's take death. Where are we going? Sheol. We know where the secret rooms are, so they may contain some advantageous stuff uh, in terms of points. And what the points mean? Leaderboard positions, that's right. Quick one. <laughs> it's interesting, but cancer is so powerful. Uh, yes, we will play this thing, which is very rare. But when it's this late in the game, it's worth it. Especially <laughs> when you pick up. Oh, get out of the way! Yeah, dick. Joker, though. Infested gives us a thingy. Plenty of things. We will take a reroll into the Joker. Into the, Joker. Into the thing. Okay, good. I didn't get hit. <laughs> uh, don't want those. And again, who cares, right? Something? Oh, I'm losing uh, spirit hearts, I didn't realise. That was silly. Ranger. Brilliant when we've got infinite range. Let's take this back. You don't have to fire when you pick up a card, you know, Brimstone. It's not imperative. This sack boy pick up. Uh, I expect most people will have discovered it. Again, we haven't really opened what Northern Line calls a seam, which we did yesterday. The seam that we found, which most people will not have found, um, as we saw from our leaderboard position, was the the ability to get down to the next floor. Kind of free, right? The floor that doesn't normally exist. The floor that nobody else did. That was the seam that we opened up. I mean... I'm not wasting any time by... <laughs> I'm not wasting any time doing the rest of this floor. So we will. And we should hope to get maybe some tinted drops. Keep an eye out. But I haven't found a seam in this one. Maybe the uh, the reroll room is a kind of seam, because many people would not have done it, obviously. Because it's scary and you shouldn't do it. So we'll have an advantage over people who didn't reroll. 
because the items that we've got since then, obviously everybody got Brimstone, but before we got Brimstone, we still had a decent power-up. Okay. No items to reroll, which is a shame. Uh, but even so, yeah, the, the, the power that we got, health down no, from re-rolling, I think it was disproportional to the amount that we would have got had we not. So add it to the brimstone rather than replace the brimstone with it. Three dollar bill, another one. We re-rolled until we got it. Some people may have taken, I, I can't remember what the item was that we had. Uh, instead of the no, don't let me re-roll again. Uh, okay, oops. Let's go around. Blow this up. It's a... <laughs> Able. Reroll. Ooh, I'll tell you what though, we get 2 HP out of this. This re-rolls all the consumables on the ground, so what we should do... Is fly around a bit. It's gonna spend some time, but that's fine. We have plenty of it. And as I was going on about our... The seams that we did open up, provided that a better uh, payback payout than the seams we left behind, put us at an advantage on points. I think 35k on Sheol before we fight Satan is a already a respectable score in my opinion. So we'll go back in here. We'll pick up this again. Oh, we should have saved one of the key, uh, one of the batteries, but never mind. And then we'll go and see what everything turned into. Does, uh, this is re-rolled? Nope. I thought that re-rolled everything on the floor. Maybe it doesn't? Am I am I confused? Am I wrong? Am I being led astray by... Yes. I have been lied to. Tinted rock? Did I see a tinted rock? Did not. We're not in any trouble. This will be fine. Um, the Satan fight is very much countered by having the amount of dam no, not damage, but 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 the it's the homing shots that we've got. Oh, bad. Like this. Oh, except for when the homing shots are being affected by some stupid three dollar bill effect. But that's fine. I think three dollar bill has done us more good than harm, especially since once we got brimstone, there's really nothing to worry about, right? Um. Any of the tear effects that could have really jeopardized us on. Do you know what? We should go and do that mob chat room. Uh, on the tear effects that could jeopardize us on normal tears don't apply to us on Brimstone. And the really the only ones for that are Ipecac and. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, perfect. Um, and Firemind. What? What? <laughs> Something hit us? Why aren't I charging? There we go. Alright, let's end this. I don't see a way out. I don't see a way to the next floor. I think we are basically stuck here. We've done everything we can. We'll take Hookworm, sure. It's funny for the 30 seconds we're going to spend at the end of this, and we'll see how well we did compared to everybody else. Let's see. 39,000. 104th! That's actually even better than yesterday, so I'm obviously quite happy with that. 104th, if that sticks around, that should leave us in the top 250, no, at worst. Uh, 4,000th on time, but who was speedrunning, right? I think the rush bonus, I can't believe that many people didn't find those, um, those seams that we found, you know, they can't, there's a lot of people on the 39 range. Yeah. I can only imagine that there's a big difference between people who re-rolled and people who didn't. I can only imagine there's a difference between people who, um, you know, didn't manage to get the brimstone deal, perhaps. People who didn't have the chaos card for the hush fight, or didn't make it to the hush fight, didn't make it to boss rush. Well, anyway, that was a very respectable position for now. And for now, until tomorrow, etc. Blah-de-blah. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.